Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> you have to get over there, so... Uh... Yeah. What you need to do is you need to come back on top of that. Or I could probably make the jump here. Yep. Yep. Too good. Oh, uh, what you're supposed to do is to clang on this and climb over that way. Yeah. But I'm too fucking good for that shit. Checkpoint. Fuck you. Damn you, slow frame rate lasers. I fucked that up so many times playing this game by accident. I'm autopiloting through most of this, honestly. You're way better at plat 2D plat 3D platformers than me. Oh, hey, thanks, physics. Just jump up there. There's no reason you shouldn't just jump up there. There's space there to land. Yeah, but there is such a thing as jumping forward too early. Or jumping too far forward. These assholes might kill you a few times if you get unlucky. Go break that. Missing two. Missing two. Go back. I have to go back to the level now. We're gonna have to. I pushed the button. It didn't do anything. I pushed the button again. It didn't do anything. The jump button? Yeah. Or the grab button. The jump button. Oh. That's a rarity two in a row. There's one of them. Yep, see what I meant about earlier? You just fucking walk right past them. There's one more somewhere. There's a little quirk whenever Sly jumps. Just automatically swings his cane. Yep. And that cane swing will grab things if it hits. Really? Yeah. That's weird. I think there's a fenced in area I can climb over to when I get inside. I think that's what the last one is. Climb all the way over there to the thing. To the vault. Climb over to the vault? There might be one near the vault. We're gonna check up here real quick. Just make sure there's not one on top of this thing, you know? He almost died. I'm fine. There ain't shit over here. Okay, nope. going back. I like that this version of the game has a lot has a deep color output. Yeah. Because the original game can look fucking washed out at times. I love deep color output. It's like one of the greatest things ever to come to video. There it formatting. is. Where? Oh damn. I fucking hate this one. I always forget where it is. Oh, we're dead. Bye! Why you do that? I tried to jump around, but I fucked up. Oh, Good might as well start. turn around. The vault's fucking behind me. Oh, look. Horseshoe. Did, did you keep all of the things? Yes, you keep... I said when we were in uh, episode one that if, once you grab a bottle, it's yours. Okay. Oh, awesome. Press the circle to enter the vault code. A little bit of higher mathematics and voila! Dial in 314. Smack! Ooh! Outstanding! You've uncovered I love how in Great Pony Canyon, uh, what's her name keeps showing up to be like, to hey! Your Pokemon of the week, I'm gonna heal them all. Pick the blonde chick. Huh? That blonde girl in Sun and Moon. Oh. What's her name? Lily. Lily, she's like, like all through Great Pony Canyon, she'll keep showing up to heal your Pokemon. Uh huh. Makes it a little bit easier. Now we have the exploding hat technique, which has absolutely no fucking utility. Dab you 30 frame lasers. Oh, that was close. I almost fucked up. Yeah, I was wondering why you were about to do that. Well, you know, I'm good at video games, so... I don't fuck up. 
Ever. I'm like a speedrunner. Anytime I die, I totally meant to do that. I was setting it up for something later. Uh, I meant to do that. Yay, we got one fucking key. So, uh... I picked the absolute perfect Pokemon for the uh, Great Pony Canyon Trial. Really? I have Primarina. Yeah, Primarina. And I have Moonblast as one of its moves. Mugshot's turf. Okay, we're gonna get the two annoying challenges out of the way first. Jengma O. Hakamo O. Mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, that's like a casino, right? Yeah. Him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chooses to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's racist. <laughs> it's also racist, Sly. What the fuck? Why are you so racist, Sly? Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. Why is that even there? Hi, how you doing? I should have, probably should have equipped it, uh... Those guys are fucking assholes in this level. I should have probably equipped it, uh, Fairy Anium. You can hit... Oh, yeah. Oh, I interrupted that. Well, I guess we're not hearing the rest of that monologue. Yeah, why'd you step there? Mm. I'll try to get behind the dog guard. If I can fucking take him out. Okay. Whoa, what happened there? Bad things. Uh, this game can be screwy sometimes. Actually, no, we can uh, hear the monologue again. I just gotta get in the right position. There we go. Dude, I just one hit the totem Pokemon. Damn right, fairy types fuck up dragons. He tried to do the sky uppercut to me and it didn't kill me. That's the first time I've ever one hit a totem Pokemon <laughs> both times through these games. I wonder if Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are actually going to have a different story. Hmm. Uh, fucking hate this one. Why? It's a racing game. It's that fucking race with Murray. I hate this one. Murray. What's going on down there? Well, I drove to this hot dog stand. Isn't there a uh, the cheat code involved in this level? I don't believe so. Is there a key in it for the winner? Yeah. The winner? Three times around the track. No, I think you're thinking of the shit you can do in uh, Spyro 3, where you can get a full boost meter by fucking up with the by fucking with the track. You can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get him. I'm on it. Okay, so the problem here is this controls like shit. of the moon. And, uh, Murray's van, like, fucking bounces all over the place. Yeah. It also doesn't help that these assholes can, these assholes can smack into the boost canisters and rob you of them. These assholes? Assholes. They have coal up their asses. Okay. I just fucking missed that one. This very uncomfortably reminds me of all the fucking racing stages from Crash Bandicoot 3, and I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those stages either. What did, we said we were gonna do Insane Trilogy? Yeah. For the first game? After this? I think so. Yeah. So the Crash Insane Trilogy is out, and now we can uh, play Crash Bandicoot 1. We can play a good version of Crash Bandicoot 1. 